Hello, welcome to English with Tom. Uh, today, we are starting a new series, a new series of videos uh, combining grammar and pronunciation. And today's first topic, first lesson is question tags. For example, English with Tom uh, videos are very useful, aren't they? Okay. Let's get started. So first, a bit of a test. Uh, listen to me, listen to Tom, tell you some information about himself. Try to remember as much as you can, and you will be tested later in the video. No cheating, no notes, don't write anything down. See how much you can remember. Okay, okay, ready? Let's go. So, yes, my name is Tom. Um, I've been a teacher for over 10 years. Um, I currently live in Asia. And I really like Asia. I like the people. I like the food. Uh, but I don't like the weather. Uh, in the summer, it is super hot and humid. Um, but everything else, everything else is good. Uh, my favorite sport is soccer. Uh, but I like all kinds of sports. I'm years old, uh, and I'm originally from the UK, from England. Okay, good. Try to remember as much as you can. We will use the information later. So, question tags. Let's check the grammar first. So, a question tag is a small question that is tagged or put on to the end of a sentence. A be verb, auxiliary verb, or modal verb is used in the tag. If the sentence is positive, the tag is usually negative. For example, English with Tom videos are very useful. Are is positive. Aren't they? Aren't is negative. And then switch. If the sentence is negative, the tag is usually positive. You haven't watched all of the videos yet, have you? So haven't is negative. Have is positive. Okay, five top tips, more grammar for question tags. Uh, to request something politely, use a negative sentence with a positive question tag. You couldn't help me, could you? You couldn't help me, could you? So question tags are good for making polite requests. British English and American English with have, there are different tags. Ah, oh, you have enough, haven't you? American English, you have enough, don't you? Yes. And to be honest, um, I personally, I'm British, but I use the American English myself. Uh, you have enough, don't you? Okay. And remember, if we're talking about people, Use pronouns, not names, in question tags. Tom is from England, isn't he? Not Tom is from England, isn't Tom? So use the pronoun he, she, they, uh, not the names. And that's the same for uh, places too, any proper names. So uh, China is great, isn't China? Hmm. China is great, isn't it? Okay, we use will or would for imperatives, commands. Hurry up, will you? Hurry up, would you? Do your homework, will you? Tidy your room, would you? Uh, would is a bit more, a bit more polite. And this looks a little complicated, it isn't. 
So we use didn't or do question tags with used to, didn't used to. Uh, for example, you used to live in London, didn't you? And if you want to show surprise, you didn't used to live in London, did you? So that's used to show a surprise. Okay. Pronunciation. So one simple um, pronunciation tip, we use a rising intonation. A rising intonation shows that the question tag is a real question. You're unsure of the answer and you're, and you're checking or you're asking for something. Ah, oh, uh, it's the test tomorrow, isn't it? Isn't it? You're not sure you're checking. It's the test tomorrow, isn't it? Okay. And a falling intonation shows that you are asking for agreement uh, or that you are more sure of the answer, but still, you're just still checking. But you're maybe 90, 99% sure. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the test, uh, it's the test tomorrow, isn't it? You expect the answer to be yes. You're just checking, but you're sure. Ah, it's the test tomorrow, isn't it? Isn't it? Not, isn't it? Okay. Listen to me and just have a think. Is it a rising intonation or a falling intonation? You live in London, don't you? You live in London, don't you? Ah, you're British, aren't you? You're British, aren't you? Ah, you couldn't make more videos, could you? You couldn't make more videos, could you? Okay, one more time. Super quick. You live in London, don't you? You're British, aren't you? You couldn't make more videos, could you? Okay, yes. So the first one was a rising intonation. Repeat after me. You live in London, don't you? Number two. Ah, you're British, aren't you? You couldn't make more videos, could you? Okay, there you go. You can see how the first one, you're not sure. Second one, you're pretty sure, but just checking. And the last one is your a request. You're asking for something, asking for more videos, which I will make. All right. So at the beginning, I gave you some information about me. So you remember the inf you remember the information uh, Tom told you at the start of the video, don't you? Use question tags to check if you can't remember or to ask for agreement if you are more sure. So po uh, pause the video and make some questions. What do you remember about me? And or what do you need to check and make some questions? Practice the pronunciation. Okay. Okay, here are some possible questions you could ask. Uh, ah, you live in Japan, don't you? If you go back, I didn't say Japan, I said Asia. So that's why maybe you're not sure, checking. You live in Japan, don't you? Ah, you don't like the Japanese summer. Do you? You don't like the Japanese summer, do you? Maybe you're more sure, because I definitely mentioned the summer. Ah, you said, you said your favourite sport is football, didn't you? You said your favourite sport is football, didn't you? Ah, you're checking, because maybe... Did I say soccer? I might have said soccer. Okay, also... You can check if somebody's not there. 
So, ah, Tom, he didn't mention his age, did he? He didn't mention his age, did he? Uh, no, I kept it a secret. Um, ah, he's English, isn't he? He's English, isn't he? And the last one, a request. You couldn't make more videos, could you, Tom? Rising intonation. You couldn't make more videos, could you? Okay, great. Okay, that's it. So go back, check the grammar and check the how we use it, the different pronunciation, it changes the meaning. And uh, yeah, practice, leave a comment and see you next time. Thanks guys, bye.